Welcome back here, folks, live from the Isle Casino. Here it is, the Rock Cup USA Florida Winter Tour. And uh, again, my name's Andrew Clements alongside Ron John, Ron Ebersol. And we are bringing you the coverage here. We've had Argena Tommy and Caleb Smock getting you a ton of pit report and action down on the starting grid. We've talked to nearly every driver that rolls off inside the first three rows this weekend. Talked to, of course, Thomas Nevo. That was a big improvement for him. But Ron John, he starts fifth. We know we've got Mateus Morgato on the front row. Let's quickly run on through our starting lineup as they file around the final corner. All right. After Mar uh, Morgato is going to be Diego Ramos in the 313. Margin Kremers up next in the 327 with Alessandro Tutilio rolling off in the 320. As you had mentioned, Thomas Naveau in the 324 and Nick Bruckner up next in the sixth position. Green flag is out. We are racing. It's the finals for our Rock Seniors. Yeah, great start there for the inside. Morgato able to help hang on to the lead over Kremers. Kremers making a fight for it. There's Jack Jeffers at the back trying to find his way. Oh, we got one got turned around. I don't know. I think that's Ryan Vincent in the Nash Motorsports EOS cart gets spun here entering turn number four. But Morgato does not have it as easy as he did at the beginning of the pre-final. Diego Ramos was there and uh, was able to follow him and not really pressure him too much till Morgato built up a gap. Now Marion Kremers. Uh, good buddies with Morgato off the racetrack, but he'll be ready to get after it here. All drivers inside the top four, clean and green, away with a little bit of separation. Morgato, the early leader. Here's Kremers, Ramos, and it looks like we've got a good start for him here. Marion Kremers trying to be as quick as he can on the colder tires and close up to Mateus Morgato, who has been dominant all weekend. Here he is, good run through the carousel. If he can hang on to him, again, he's halfway back from a dive. Down the backstretch, Morgato knows it. Signals for him to work together. Kremers just going to give him a little light tap and say, all right, I'll work with you for now. I'm not going to throw the race away, but he's close. He could definitely, he definitely could have made the move there. Hopefully, he does not regret it for not going by because Morgato, nice launch out of the bus stop chicane. Morgato pulling away a little bit over Marion Kremers. We'll see how well that gap will hold. A cart length and a half between the pair. Three cart lengths back from Kremers to Diego Ramos. Then Thomas Nevo, then Bruckner again. Nick Bruckner having a great weekend as he starts to try and get himself more and more back behind the wheel. Of course, Nick Bruckner, um, you know, not many know uh, outside of the scene uh, his fight with cancer that both uh, this is on his second run with it. And, I mean, he is as active and as fit as he has ever been, still trying to get behind the wheel and put up some great results. Last week was in action at the Supercar 2 SA Winter Series in Homestead. He's in action here again this weekend in Pompano. Finished in the top 10 in K100 at the Scusa Super Nationals. He's been having a good weekend. Return. I mean, he's just, it's just such an inspiring story. You know, he trails the driver we're going to switch to. That's Thomas Nevo. So, again, Nevo has had uh, one of the most roller coaster weekends out of anybody. First race of the weekend, drives forward from a pretty poor qualifying effort of 12th. And the Cart Republic U.S. supported driver uh, makes his way through the grid to fourth, only to get wrecked on the final lap. Then Pete number two, driving to the field again, midway through his uh, march forward, crashes with someone else kind of halfway in the race, at least able to finish this one, rolled off uh, 16th for the pre-final, drove through the field, got up into the top five, now he's fourth, and he had the pace in the pre-final to challenge the leaders. Right now, he's got a little more to go to get there. Give it up to Jeremy Fletcher, Nolan Bauer, and Evan Hagberg, along with Lauren Legault. They've all been working together, made their way up into the top, yeah, just outside the top Fletcher 10. Fletcher right now just got by Gianluca Savaglio. Did he? So he's able to move by. Savaglio going to fight back on him, but Fletcher. Put him right up to eighth position then if he maintains that pass. All first, second, and third have kind of started to string out. Morgato, Kremers, Ramos, that second pack shuffling a little bit here. Bruckner getting by, as is Detulio and Thomas Nevo. The speed looked good on the old tires. Now Detulio, nice move behind the top three. He's able to get into the fourth position. Takes it away from Bruckner, and just like that, Bruckner up to fourth, back to fifth once again. Marion Kremers for a little bit looked like he was starting to pull back away from Diego Ramos. Stay close to Morgato. Now he's faded further back. Ramos getting kind of a second wind here as we move towards the second half. 
uh, in closing stages of this main event. You know, you can see a little choke there. You, uh, Martin Drummer's reaching down, just tapping the top of the air box. Not a lot of guys doing that. Not exactly sure what the benefit would be for Marion, but obviously getting what that'll do is that'll flood the carburetor with fuel, so it helps him out if he's running a little bit lean. That still has plenty of fuel to get up and out of the corner um, as they come down the front straight away. Morgato. Because he's been untouchable. He's just been on another level. I mean, he it really has been. No different than what we saw out of Connor Zillich last year. Right. Uh, as, you know, for him. I mean, he's just been the fastest guy every single session. Qualified on the pole. One heat number one. One heat number two. Won the pre final here. Even losing the lead early. Um, and then here in the final again, leading dominant performance. Obviously, we got this group battling potentially for second. Marion Kremers over Diego Ramos. Got a, a good little battle on your screen at the edge of the top 10. Looks like Jeffers was able to just get by Nolan Bauer. That's really the closest thing to a fight we have inside the uh, the top 10. Uh, as it looks like Detulio's pulled away greatly from Nick Bruckner. Lucas Mendez making a late charge towards that group. Here is Jeffers just ahead of Bauer, headed through the bus stop, and they'll come to see the two-to-go signal. We'll, we'll look a little forward. Here's Bruckner's group. P5 at the moment. Thomas Nevo, P6. Lucas Mendez, P7. Microphone, because Diego <laughs> has a little bit less English language in his knowledge book than uh, Mateus. So for Diego, uh, it's, it's like a running joke between the pair, you know, whenever he gets interviewed. Mateus DM me. Oh, good battle there. Here we got through turn number one. Sorry. I was watching the top three and talking about them, and Nick Bruckner under heavy fire from Lucas Mendez. As Nevo must have been able to get by and then lose the spot. Bruckner now gets punted, and Mendez drives over top of him. And Nick Bruckner drops back to six or seven. There'll probably be a penalty coming for Lucas Mendez here, but final lap for the leader. Through the bus stop here, Ron John. Not much more you can say. He has been phenomenal. For the first of the two headline classes, Solid. Mateus Morgato sleeps every session. He wins in Rock Senior. And a bow and arrow across the line. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> For Mateus.